Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of questionable parentage, we are out here in what's already become a messy shop. Uh, brand new area here. We are still putting stuff away. I'm still uh, going through all the nonsense in here. We've got a lot of stuff in this garage to get sorted. We're gonna have to get a tool shed for out back. Uh, my desk area is a mess. You are in the new shop uh, looking at some games and what you're looking at right here is a 1989 Williams Police Force. Uh, the game that was intended to be Batman originally. Uh, Python Angelo was designing it and doing the art and uh, the police car here was originally going to be a Batmobile and the back corner of that city jail would have been the Batcave. Uh, the, the car is a pretty neat feature. We've got a lot of issues to fix on this game. Uh, the, the game does boot up and play but we've got the no, no speaker down at the bottom working. Every rubber has to be changed and fixed. Uh, and we actually, I fixed that target or this, this target earlier. I was messing around with doing some stuff, but as you can see, most of the rubbers are broke and gross and look like that. And the game completely needs to be pulled apart and cleaned up. It does have this, uh, this spinning target here that spins on an opto board. And it is working. Uh, that target is normally broken on these games, and this one's in good shape. Look at that. You could have ordered a hat. That's pretty neat. Uh, it's uh, it's designed by uh, Python Angelo, uh, Mark Ritchie, Barry Owsler, all together. Uh, it's kind of the sister game or the sequel game to Taxi uh, in the way that it's laid out and the setup and the, and the ideas behind it. It's a System 11 B game and uh, it's actually pretty cool that the side art is neat there's a, a weasel throwing his hands up there and he's got a bunch of jewelry and there's a I guess a cheetah cop and a lion cop and there's an alligator in the back seat which I'm guessing is machine gun croc here there's machine gun croc there's the drug weasel or sorry the drug rat uh, there is a, a diamond weasel and a lone shark and you have to capture all four of those bad guys. And then you go after the shoot Mafia Saurus Rex for jackpot. And uh, the back glass is pretty cool. I'll go ahead and turn it on and let you see what it's doing. It's got a bunch of issues. It's gonna let you know in the test report. Uh, also, the there's another scoreboard up here, a seven digit display. And uh, it is no longer working. So I've ordered a, a new one of those. I found one on, on, on eBay for 13 bucks actually. And that's on its way uh, but it's got some cool light the lights for the cop car light up in there and the light for the scope that he's shooting he's aiming for the t-rex in the back glass it's a very cool very cool back glass uh, we put we had put leds in all the lights back there except for the flashers it also has the police lights on top that light up and i'm gonna get some L blue leds for it but we're gonna really go through and clean this game and do a lot of stuff i ordered a new plastic for the broken one here We've got a new rubber kit on the way. This car is controlled by a motor that has like a pulley system and the rope slash uh, uh, the main drive belt is a big rubber belt and it's broken. And so we ordered one of those too. And as you can see, there's no flipper rubber. There's no slingshot rubber. Like it's, it's, it's missing a lot of stuff, but uh, You'll never take me alive, copper. You'll never take me alive, copper. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. The artwork isn't too terribly faded. Uh, side art of the cab, Police Force by Williams. Looks good. Uh, it needs a good cleaning and a lot of a lot of little things uh, here and there tweaked and fixed. But otherwise, it's playing and, and working. And it's loading up, and the boards look great. All original boards. It looks great. We picked this up for $1,500 today. The guy had it on Facebook Marketplace. He was asking $3,000. At the time wasn't shooting the balls out one of the balls had gotten trapped up under here because the rubber was broken it was stuck back there so the game wasn't loading right and we were able to make a deal i actually i offered him 1500 bucks about a month and a half ago and he got back in touch with me because nobody's bought it from him and was like does that offer still stand and i was like i'd have to come look at it but yeah that'd be the top of my range and uh anyway the last one sold for this much on eBay so we're gonna you know not shoot for the moon but we're gonna clean this up really good get it playing super fast and fun and uh, 
definitely double our money, if not triple it. Uh, Embryon is a whole other story, and we're going to get to that later. Here are the insides of this machine. Uh, everything's pretty clean down in here. I've got some tools laying around. I've got a couple different broken rubbers. Okay, so this giant rubber used to belong to the car. The car mech is here, and uh, it travels up and down this rod section here. And there should be a giant belt on this pulley down here, and also to this pulley. And that's what moves it back and forth into place. The switches are working. Um, it was showing errors for the switches, but it's because they haven't been able to be touched because the, the belt was broken. So we've ordered a new belt. We've got a new rubber kit on the way. Uh, that should take care of that. The drop targets are working just fine. There are opto boards for those, but they seem to be all right. Uh, everything else has seemed to be playing and kicking and doing its thing on this game. I think it's going to be a real easy cleanup and a pretty quick flip. At least that's the plan with it, hopefully so. Uh, the Embryon, I mentioned just a minute ago, the Embryon has got a stack of issues, and right now it's got a stack of stuff on top of it. Uh, Chris and I are, this is a d another day, by the way. Hi, how, how are you doing? It's uh, I'm getting a good little tan on my left arm here from being outside in the sun and playing some golf. Uh, we're working on the, on the labyrinth a lot. Chris has been over and done a little bit more painting. We got some more painting to do. Uh, I've got, obviously we got the back glass in, as you can see. That's the internals of this machine. And uh, I'll show you that on a different video for the labyrinth, exactly what it used to be like. But we're gonna be rebuilding it with all new parts and all new stuff and everything's gonna be custom done on this game. Uh, and the Cobra pin controller, there's a little board right here in this plastic bag that came in that that's what's the, gonna be kind of the new brains for everything, not really the brains, but more the, the, the main board for everything. And the brains will be run off of a, a Raspberry Pi. Uh, very, very cool. This game is very, very cool, and I definitely will do a full video on it coming up in the near future. Uh, but I got it for a good price. I think I paid a thousand bucks for it, but I did have to go drive to get it. It was up in uh, Virginia, and I had a delivery I had to make anyway, drop off another game and on, the, on the route and pick this up on the way back. And it's doing everything it's supposed to do with the exception of the flippers are not working correctly on the right-hand side. I think it's end of stroke switch problems. We've got some on the way. They just haven't come in yet. Uh, I've already put new rubbers on it and gone through and LED'd everything. This game looks and sounds really cool. Uh, you can't, you can't obviously see it. So I'm gonna clean it off, turn it on and show you it. Oh, so magically it's cleaned off. It's booting up and it says something pretty cool. Embryon five ball. So we've gone through and LED'd it up. I do have an issue with this bottom right scoreboard still acting a fool down here. We've gotta figure out what's going on with it. It might be something on the MPU causing that to happen, but I believe it travels with just that scoreboard. If I moved it around, I'm pretty sure the problem would be on that scoreboard and not the game. But other than that, uh, the two right flippers, there's, there's one up top. And there's one down below and there's a flip save over here too that i got a rubber for but by god it was it's too small that whatever came from the set it will not fit on there so i need to find a different flipper rubber for that one but that flipper is only active at a certain point when this thing is flashing and it comes down through here and i believe that's when it allows it to turn on and be savable or flippable but it just doesn't flip it's never flipped it's never done anything and the bottom flipper was working just fine the top flipper was shotgunning and having issues so i started looking at it and i've never really changed into stroke flippers on double set of flippers most of the games i've bought have had two flippers three max occasionally there's four but there's never been issues with them where i've had to come across it so what i've got going on right now is i've got no power going to that one i've got nothing happening here when you put the new i put new into stroke switches on it and it didn't seem to work so i ordered some different ones um as what i could see maybe i, I had just got the wrong kind uh, i don't know look how effing amazing this game is artwork wise it's just so cool and there's so much going on. There's like this weird brain vagina thing with balls. Uh, there's a, a Newton's Cradle action going on there with a stationary ball that hits them up into those two targets. And uh, there's another one there locked in behind the drop targets. And there's a third one here locked in drop behind that one drop target. Uh, the game's got a great soundtrack. It's got really cool uh, sound effects. It's, you know, early 80s Bally. It's dope. I want to say it's from 83. 
I could be wrong about that. Let's see, the back glass says 81. Yeah, 81. And if there was a ball in it right now, it would kick the ball out, but I don't have a ball in it. Uh, embryonic incubator functional. So that flipper is absolutely dead. Left flipper works just fine. And I think maybe the issue I had too is when the flipper was working, it was just giving me random points. I was scoring points left and right with it too. So there might be something going on in the MPU that we haven't sussed out yet. It is the original, it has the original battery on it. It has not leaked and it seems to be saving credits. I mean, look at there, there's 11 credits on it. Uh, I'll give it another one and it'll save, you know, save that. So the battery is still working from 1981. I mean, it's pretty freaking incredible. Let's watch this. Just so you believe me, it's pop up and say 12. So it's pretty amazing that that still works. Uh, so, you know, if it's ain't, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. But there's things that are broken on this game. So that's the next thing in line to get fixed in the garage. It took me a while to get it up and running. There was nothing happening on it when I first got it, uh, which is another reason I haven't made a video about it because sometimes it's just, uh, I'm, I'm busy. I start messing with stuff before I even get the camera out. Next thing you know, I've already got it fixed. And then I'm like, well, I only need to show people working on that game. This was not a case of that. This was a case of I just started working on it at the other house and got it up and running basically over there. And then when I got it here, I threw LEDs in it and I just hadn't turned a camera towards it yet. Uh, it's a really cool game. I can't wait to get it playable. It may stay around for a while. It is fun when you're playing it. Being a wide body, it's a little bit slower. It's a little bit more floaty. Uh, but this one is a pretty fast game for a wide body, and there's a lot to do. Uh, even though it's basic, you know, do this, do that, do this, do that. Keep repeating the same process and try and get, you know, your multiple, your multipliers up as high as you can. And uh, there's a bunch of cool out drains like this. The ball can go straight down here and you're screwed. Or it could come down here and like rattle around and get lucky and hit that rubber, hit this rubber, stay in play. It drops through there. It can also go through in between under here under this uh what you think is a slingshot cover but it is not that's a slingshot there and then down here is a straight drop to your flipper uh there is no out hole here the out lane is way up here and it can come through here bounce off that rubber bounce back into the drop or if your flip save is over you can knock the thing back across and keep it alive uh it, it, it doesn't seem to drain fast it doesn't seem to play like you know difficult it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm gonna again like I'm gonna really like playing this game. I'm sure, and we'll do some live streams of it, uh, and we'll do live streams of Police Force when we get it up too. Uh, I didn't do any of the Playboy. The Playboy has been sold. It's going to Florida. In fact, Tara and I are taking it down to Pensacola next weekend. Uh, not really. That's not where it's going, but it's going down to Florida, and then we're gonna go st spend the weekend in Pensacola and have a, a beach trip, and uh, hopefully not spend too much money because. You know we got things to do here but we're coming along things are coming along parts are ordered and this game will be up and running in the next video you see of it but i'd like to thank each and every one of you for stopping by today and checking out the video uh, make sure to drop a like subscribe comment if you're not subscribed if you haven't ever commented if you've got something to say if you've owned this game if you've played this game this game you've never played the labyrinth because it's a one of a kind Okay, you've played Fireball, but it's not going to play anything like Fireball, okay? That's that's where we're at here. Uh, let me know. Embryon. Activate Embryon. He wants me to play him, but I, unfortunately the flippers are dead, so I can't. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for coming around and watching the old Cat and Retro channel. Uh, I appreciate it, and I'm just going to keep making stuff, and I hope people keep liking it. You guys have a great day. Captain! Captain! Captain Retro is